Public Security Minister handed over the engine and ATV to the CPG while he was in the community recently. Chairman of the CPG Cleveland D'Souza explained that members would have to walk for miles to reach some of the satellite villages or paddle for hours to get to the communities upriver. We had to walk up for over like three hours where road leads to the satellite areas. And for the boat we have to go and stay overnight then come back the other day. We couldn't make it back in one day. It used to affect our work because we could have touched more than one place for the day. But then traveling take off more, more of the time, so we couldn't go there and get there on time. With the necessary tools in hand, the community policing group will now be able to execute their mandate effectively. The Susan noted that the community is home to more than 2,000 residents. Our village is very big. We have satellite areas, so in the road area we will use the ATV to get there. We have like over one and a half hour riding to our satellite areas. Also with the boat, the engine, we have areas in the Riven area, like Korsaimo, Bamboo Landing and Simrupa, where we have to travel like two hours in boat to get there. So with the help of the motor, we will get there regularly and talk to our people and maintaining our, the peace of the village. Minister Ram Jatan has urged that the tools be utilized for the purpose intended as millions have been spent to acquire it, so care and consideration should be exercised. The Whitewater CPG was formed back in February 2018 and now comprises 17 members. Felicia Valenzuela, InfoHub.